Gangsta B. What's up, DJ? So y'all do know Ben. Now that's what's up. That's why we love each and every one of you guys. Honestly, thank you guys so much for coming and tuning in, like checking out all the uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that. Appreciate all that. Eating the Mill Street money specials. You cannot beat that shit. Especially this new Jackman sauce. Yeah, fish on. But uh, okay, up next we got P and E and Eclipse gonna wreck the stage. We should have gonna play a couple new hits after a new CD called GI Flow. You can download that shit at pamusic.com. GI Flow. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Who's got that CD already? Raise your hands. Come on. Yeah. All right, I see about 75 people out there. That's what's up. Yeah. I, I've been I've been playing it nonstop, man. I brought it to Jamaica with me. I was fucking bumping that shit in our room. Our room is a party room in Jamaica. We're bumping that fucking CD, man. Yeah. Seriously, I'm not gonna lie to you, PA. That's a true fucking story right there. But uh, okay, make some noise with PA and Eclipse, everybody. Come on!
got a question for you. All right. What up, son? Now I want to know what uh, what's the ultimate way to cure a bad case of the munchies? Oh, what's the way? What's the munchies say? Well, you know, you know when you're uh, out there in the woods, you know, doing what you do. <laughs> what do you do in the woods? I don't know. Uh, you don't want to know. You don't want to know what I do in the woods. Uh, you know, when you're having a good time with your friends and you want to. What do you do when you're having a good time with your friends? Uh, like, what's the munchies? Explain. Well, you're smoking some marijuana. Oh, okay. Well, that's what you have to decide to be clear. Uh, best cure for me? First off, DJ Wings. Best cure. Yeah. Kind of addicted. Uh, yeah. 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 I kind of figured. Second cure? Smoke more! Yeah. That's, that's a good question. That's a good fucking answer. Smoke more, yeah. But then you get even more munchies. More munchies. I don't know. I, I'll go with chicken wings. My final answer. But what about like my dog? Like when I get my dog high, he likes peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all like that. See, that's just wrong. <laughs> I was angry. I knew this one guy who who likes to go to parties and stick his penis in the peanut butter. In the mashed potatoes. So you, you stay away from that peanut butter. My dog peanut butter. Me chicken wings. Final answer. Does he like the peanut butter? <laughs> they call it crunchy in public. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Sorry. That's gross. He's eating chicken wings. I'm not talking about peanut butter. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> Where are y'all put your peanut butter? Oh my god, you don't even have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Anymore. Why are you gotta bring it up? Okay, it's a, it's a touchy subject. You're dying, right? Yeah, I'm You're dying, right? Okay, and bouncer, and get him out of here. He's had enough. He's had enough. So you like okay. to travel to exotic places, right? Sometimes, yes. Tell us a mad, crazy story from back in the day. Oh. oh. Yo, 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 it's going to be a fucking yeah. saber secret, buddy. Like, you know what's up. Oh, Please, really? Yeah. Open the vault. You're getting a vault one here? Open the vault. Open the vault. I wasn't there. Open the vault. Okay. Open the vault. <laughs> I wasn't there. Open the vault. Okay. Okay, well, I'm sorry, sorry. End of question. Oh, yeah. don't, don't oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so you guys could have did that too. You don't know everybody was thinking there. All right, all right, all right, I'll get going. Okay, it's not gonna be perverted. It's kind of gonna be somewhat perverted. Oh, oh, hey, it's gonna be for teenager, buddy. Like you know, it's on, it's on Kojiko and stuff. Like, yeah, beep it out in the fucking when you redo it. Okay, no, I'll give you good. Yeah, one time okay. I beat this beep when I beep and yeah. Okay, yeah, so, alright, pesos, me and my buddy, we're in fucking Venezuela trying to buy pot. Pot is fucking hard to find in Venezuela. So, like, yeah, you gotta go into town, it's just 20 minutes away. Three fucking hours later, we find a fucking city in a taxi cab. It's like $180 or something later. That was, no, maybe one. No, maybe like 100 But still, still stuck. And we finally get there. Like, yeah, I just go talk to, like, he mentioned his name. My name's Eric or something. I'm like, Eric in Venezuela? What is he, what? I'm like, eh, yeah, okay. So I already knew where I was getting fucked no matter what as soon as I got there. So there's two of us. One of us, I don't know, three or four of us, whatever it was. So we get there, we get to this little fucking bar, we get beers, they charge us ten dollars a fucking beer, and then another guy walks up, a local, who pays less than a dollar a beer. And the guy just looks at me and he Yeah, you're getting fucked. I, they, they wanted to break it off of my ass and just leave it in there pretty much. You know what I mean? It's pretty much what I was I thought was gonna happen. Like I thought I was gonna, I was saying my goodbyes to my buddies and stuff like was okay. So, um, yeah, okay, so this guy he's like, Yeah, I'll be back in ten minutes. I'm like, I'm not giving you my mind right now, this ain't gonna happen, I'm not giving you shit. He like, comes around the corner and he's like, alright, alright, that shit now. So shows me this little nug, it's not even fucking weed, yo. He like hands it to me in a little piece of fucking uh it was like cigarette wrapper, like that plastic wrapper, you know what I mean? It was like a little nug, but it was tiny wrap, and then I open up and there's another cigarette fucking plastic wrapper. Open that one up. It was stones, yo. It was stones. I had paid for it, but he still gave me a stone. I'm like, it's fucking stones. My buddy hammers it out of his hands. He's like, fuck out of here. He's like, but I'll take you to someone who's for real. Go around the corner to someone who was real, and it was real chronic. He gets in the car and he's all sketchy and shit. And then a hooker comes out of nowhere, comes on the right side, starts soliciting my buddy on the side. So he's hand up, loving life, like grabbing the titties, making out with her. I'm like, you're making out with a stripper. I mean, a hooker in fucking Venezuela. Is this happening right now? And I'm trying to buy me out this guy. My buddy's making out with a fucking hooker. Like, this is a true story. This was fucked, you know? I don't tell too many people that shit. Was there any peanut butter? Well, when you showed up, you were like covered in it. Remember that? <laughs> Backpack for it, didn't it? But I've never been to Venezuela, bro. Go with the star. Okay, yeah, the peanut butter, it was crunchy. <laughs> 
No, but seriously, back to that. And then the driver wanted to take off. He said, okay, this is getting too fucking sketchy. And I was like, buy the pot, get the hooker, let's just fucking get out of here. My buddy got so pissed that the hooker tried to charge him money for the tip grab that he got out of the car and he literally smashed the fucking window of his cab. And then like the cabbie kicked us all out, kicked us all out, and we're fucking standing on the corner now. Buddy just went back to make out with the hooker. Didn't even fucking care. <laughs> Didn't even fucking care. He's like, I'm over it, whatever, I'll pay the money. This guy must battery, he probably doesn't get laid as often as like some dudes or whatever, blah blah blah. But he was happy when they get on the hooker. I took a million pictures, trust me. Like I don't think there's any on crack but or anything like that, but they're like, I'll show you guys one day, like, are you serious? So we got the pot, smoked the pot, it was a good pot, like it was a happy ending to the story, except the ride home, the taxi that picked us up, we sang like Journey the whole way home. We're talking three hours of drunk fucking idiots, singing Journey, smoking pot, we're rolling it in the back, but he's got no back fucking window, like his fucking breeze is coming, he's so pissed. End of story. It was great. It was fucking great, though. It was a good experience. I thought I was going to die and get raped. I thought I was going to die and get raped, and uh, I didn't get raped. My butthole was safe, and I didn't wake up in the comments with my ass. So, man, life is good. <laughs> so that was good.